Hello and welcome to the weekly wrap up for Friday, March 1st, 2024. We had quite a week uh, of news and of shows that we did. It was kind of a light week in shows, but that's going to be more than compensated for in the following week, which we'll discuss in a moment. This past week, we had shows with good friend Nick Benyamin and Rod Steele. Uh, pray for Sister in Christ Denise Boland. She had some uh, health issues that she's been contending with that pushed our show back. Uh, we'll bring her back in April and start fresh there, and we're excited to uh, converse with her as always. She always does a great job for the community. <clears throat> also, we had a guest uh, set for last week who had, had some personal scheduling conflicts. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, so what we've done is we gave you some breaking news on Iraq, where President Trump met a week and a half ago. He didn't go there yet. He already went. He's not upcoming. That's been done. Please pay attention to the details in that video. And then we have a video coming out today, part five of a series on currencies and bonds. By request, we discussed the Venezuelan Boulevard and what we believe are the top five reasons why it's a good investment <clears throat> for this period. So we've uh, covered that and we'll be releasing that video later today. Okay, so let's talk about the lineup for next week. We're very excited. On Monday, we have the one and only Derek Johnson. Special thanks to his manager and friend, Kathy, for helping us to secure that date. <clears throat> On Wednesday, we have good friend Titus Osborne. He's an accountant by trade, but he has parlayed ways to uh, create multiple streams of income in the new economic reality that we're heading into. He's also going to be one of the leaders on the Real World Academy channel, which is why we're bringing him on so you can get a taste of his background and what uh, he and many others will provide on the new channel. Thursday, we'll have the one and only Bill Holter for part three. Really excited to see what he has to say about what's coming up in the near future and the economic changes of the economy. And as I was alluding to earlier, reschedule, Good friend of mine, Dr. Scott Young, he's a Nassara or Nessara aficionado. I uh, did shows on his uh, program years ago, and he's graciously accepted our offer to come on our podcast uh, March 8th, Friday, and also set up for April as well. So we're excited to have him on board. Okay, now to the headline news for the week. Uh, New York Community Bank plunged 25% yesterday in their stock shares, losing nearly $2.7 billion. So that tells you another death blow for the banking industry. And if they are not Basel III compliant, they will most likely be going under. As you know, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Zuckerberg, and Jamie Dimon selling off massive stock shares this week, uh, totaling over $150 billion. That's unprecedented in history. That tells you that they know the writing's on the wall for the old economic system. It also begs the question, what if, as Santa Surfing rightly pointed out, what if those assets are being frozen and going to be redistributed for we the people in the new people's economy. Something to consider. Gold hits all-time highs today of uh, 2074.12, up 1.48% as of this broadcast. Iraq has officially joined and completed, excuse me, completed the requirements to join the World Trade Organization. Uh, but keep in mind that they still have a lot to do. They still have the reforms, taxes and tariffs, the HCL law. All that needs to be implemented. And they've just announced, we put in our Telegram channel, the dates this year for Ramadan will be March 12th to April 10th. So historically, nothing happens during Ramadan as that's a <clears throat> national monthly holiday they take off every single year. Typically, it's usually April to May, sometimes even June. This year, for whatever reason, they're doing it early. I, just a personal opinion, believe they're doing it in March to set up for April in the new fiscal year. Whereas we've announced, and they have as well, that Macron and uh, Erdogan are going to Iraq first week in April, and then Sudani will make a one of the biggest trips of his life to the U.S. to go along with Janine and the U.N. to announce their in intentions to return onto the international stage. And that's where we're going to see in April the chaos and panic, and then we'll see how it plays out from there. <clears throat> uh, Zimbabwe announces plans to gold back all their money, which we've talked about many, many times. And their digital coins reach 737 kilograms. So they're increasing their gold value in their digital economic platform for the new digital economic reality. Mitch McConnell steps down as of November and Netanyahu officially resigned this week. So you're continuing to see uh, resignations, uh, people stepping down <clears throat> out of position, selling stock, heading for the cheap seats basically. Uh, experts are touting the key role in XRP in the new financial system, as well as becoming the new global reserve currency. We know they're going to lead the blockchain and ISO 20022. Just a little personal tip for you. 
Um, this month is very exciting as far as the meme crypto market. We should see uh, money is flowing from the stock market into cryptos. So March is going to be a very exciting month for those of you who are holding specific meme tokens. You have to do your own diligence on that. I can't list all of them. But if you're in the majors, you should see some really good bumps this month. Take your profits as you can. <clears throat> and then finally, BRICS continues to gather momentum as they invite Iraq to join BRICS, specifically Putin, uh, with the stipulation that they RI digitally as an asset-backed currency. Also, BRICS announced this week that they plan to have a digitally asset-backed system where they'll have their own form of currency separate from the U.S. dollar. No surprise to those of you who've been following. On a personal note, I just want to thank those of you who have been loyal followers and subscribers, who have been kind and gracious in your comments, who have been supportive and have done the research and diligence to invest in yourself, your families, and your communities. We appreciate those of you who have taken the time to put kind comments and been supportive and have helped other members grow in their knowledge base as well. That's the kind of community in which we are working to develop and foster, which goes back to the Real World Academy and what that's all about a private, more exclusive audience of people who are really uh, working to self-govern and help their friends, family, and community in the kingdom of God. Well, that's it for today. We thank you for your time, and we hope you have a great and safe weekend, and we look forward to seeing you on the shows next week. Take care.